Good to know. All right, let's get straight into it. Batch fuel injection first. What's the um, the fundamental concept? So with batch fire, mm. the main idea is it's firing injectors together, like multiple injectors, sometimes even all of them. At the same time. Yeah, pretty much simultaneously. And crucially, it does this without really knowing or caring exactly when each cylinder's intake valve is opening. Okay, so the fuel sort of sprays into the intake runner and just kind of hangs out for a moment before the valve opens. That's a decent way to put it, yeah. yeah. It's staged, like you said before. And you know, this isn't some newfangled idea. Think about all those Bosch systems and the ones derived from them back in the, what, 60s, 70s, 80s. And I guess the advantage there is simplicity. And for the ECU, the computer running it all, it doesn't need as much information coming in. Okay. Fewer sensors, maybe? Pretty much. A batch fire system, fundamentally, it just needs attached signal. Basic engine speed, that's the core input. So less wiring complexity compared to uh, some other systems? Definitely. Fewer wires running to individual injectors or needing super precise cranking cam position info, generally speaking. Okay, I think I've got a good picture of batch fire now. All right, let's switch over then. Sequential fuel injection. 